A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters in Christ. As we continue with our program, please open your Bible in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. It says here, And since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what it is written, I believe, and therefore I spoke. We also believe, and therefore speak. I would like to ask you, what usually comes out from your mouth upon waking up in the morning? Or what is the last word that you say before you close your eyes and sleep? What comes out from your mouth when you're facing difficulties and problems? Or whenever you are sick? What comes out from your mouth if everything is well and you are happy? According to what we have read in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13, They believe and they have spoken. Brothers and sisters in Christ, it is not enough for us to merely know the word of God in our heart. But we must say it. That's when the latent power becomes an actual power. That's exactly what Jesus did when he was tempted in the wilderness. Jesus did not merely think about the scripture, but he spoke it loud. We can memorize thousands of scriptures in the Bible, but if we will not learn to say it is written and release the word, there will be no power. God's power is there, but it is all lying dormant inside us. The moment we speak it, it is as if God is speaking. God's word in our mouth, it is like God is speaking. I understand that in difficult situations, in times of problems, trials, sickness it is very hard why because we magnify the problem we make the problem big but we don't magnify the solution where can we find the solution in the bible that's exactly what second corinthians chapter 4 verse 13 is saying that it is not enough for us to know the word of God, but we must say it, especially in times of problems. We must magnify how big our God is, not how big the problem is. We should stop, or we should refrain the habit of magnifying the problem. How? How, we, how do we magnify the problem? We think it over and over again. And when we do that, problems added up. Why? Because of our emotion. Because we become weak. Because we don't speak the word of God. That's why the power remains sleeping, remains dormant, remains latent. But if we will learn to speak it over and over again, the power, we, we are releasing not our power, but God's power. And it also helps us, it also reminds us that we're not alone, that there is God who is in control, that whenever we are sick, the Bible says that by His wounds we are healed. That whenever we are overwhelmed with the problems, the Bible said God is able to do far more than what we ask or imagine. If we fear for our future, the Bible says that God's plans, plan for us is to give us future and hope and not to harm us. That's the time that our faith increases. That's the time that we feel that we're not alone. That's the time that we will be convinced that really God is in control and there is power in His Word in our life. 
for the participants for today's um service we have brother leonardo together with the i am redeem music ministry for the praise and worship we also have brother marber mejo for the word of god and a while ago we had brother paul for the opening prayer thank you everyone and god bless us all